Hey guys, welcome back to Bible Fun with the Nuns. Today we're studying Ezekiel chapter 27 and 28. Let's get started. In chapter 27 and 28 today, we deal specifically with one of the cities that we read about yesterday that Ezekiel prophesied about God judging and punishing. The city of Tyra was a port city that had good relationships with lots of other nations and people groups because they had a lot of traffic coming in and people trading there. But when Jerusalem falls, Tyra is excited and happy because they think this is going to be good for them. They think they will benefit from someone else doing bad. And so today in these chapters, God tells Ezekiel to lament, to be sad, and to even sing a funeral song for Tyra and for the king of Tyra. Because God is going to judge them. We read today that their main problem is pride, and I think Jax is going to touch on that in his mm -hmm. takeaway. They have been blessed with good relationships, and through that, lots and lots um, of things, riches, wealth, um, the Bible listed things like fabric, silks, um, wood, things like that, uh, stones, precious stones, but it also listed things like um, ivory and humans, meaning they traded slaves there also. And so they are proud of themselves and they, it's like they think that their blessings and their riches are all because of them. And so in these two chapters today, God calls them out for that. Um, guys, what was your takeaway? John, what was yours today? My takeaway is how, uh, the God just wants the, what would you call them? The people. The, the people of Tyra. <laughs> The people of Tyra to uh, know that he's the one and only God. So he has to do this and this and this and this and this. But then the people that have done good, they have uh, they live in peace with God. That is so true. Um, so God gets the glory no matter what. No matter if they are His people, He's disciplining them. And it's so that they will know that he is God. Or if it's enemies of God and God's people, he judges them. And it's so that they will recognize and know that he is God. You're so right. What about you, Jax? Okay, so I had two takeaways today. My first takeaway is how um, so stories in modern day times intertwine with Bible stories. So um, reading about Tyra and its destruction... Kind of reminds me of the city of Atlantis. They were um, an island out in the middle of the sea. They were blessed uh, with so many things. They were rich and had um, a really good navy. And then because they thought they were better than everyone else, they sank to the bottom of the sea. And uh, that's kind of what happened with Tyra. And then my second The pride issue, right? Yes, the pride issue. Mm -hmm. My second takeaway is about um, pride. It's not going to get you anywhere in the real world. Um, well, on earth. Um, but uh, you may be really good on earth. You may be rich. You may have all this stuff. But if you're not spiritually rich, then you're not truly rich. That's right. Um, a verse that I looked up is in James 4, 6, and it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And I think we see right here him opposing the proud and, and showing them that he is the one true God. There are lots of things that I can see about God through how he treats the enemies of his people. I see his love and his care and his protection for his people. I see the way that God judges Israel as well as the enemies of Israel it's all for the good of God's people. So even when he punishes his people, even when he disciplines them, it's for their good. And then when he takes care of their enemies, it's also for his people's good. Um, God wants his best for us, and he also wants to protect us as well as his name. One of my takeaways that's been on my mind since yesterday, the chapters we read yesterday, and it carried through today with what we read, is that the world is against God's people. We see many examples between yesterday and today of how people rejoice. The world rejoices when God's people struggle. It's really sad, but it's a good reminder to us, who are God's people, to persevere 
and to remember that others are watching us, whether we realize it or not. And how we react to whatever life brings, um, whatever life throws at us is very important because we are being watched. We always have a testimony through the way that we live our lives. God's people, us, are bearers of God's name. So when people look at our lives, it's super important for us to point others to God and for our lives, the way we live, to give God glory. So for today's challenge, when people watch you, and I promise, whether you realize it or not, maybe your, your siblings are watching you, maybe your cousins are watching you, maybe even your parents are watching you, um, I bet peers in class, whether you recognize it or not, or know about it or not, are watching you. When people watch you, can they see God in your life? Do your actions and your reactions give glory to God? And this is all the time. It's not just when we're at church. It's not just when we're in front of teachers or authority figures or parents all the time. Do your actions and your reactions give glory to God? Y'all think about that today and talk to God about it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.